Last word, Raymond. Yes. I'll make it brief. Just a uh, quick question. Was the reason, I was wondering, was the reason that a do, uh, dog owned by a friend of my sister started snapping at me the moment, uh, because I had fear? And is fear a lower instinct? Fear is a lower instinct. And the dog can smell you when you have it. Just like a woman can smell a man that has fear. <laughs> Did you know that you could be way down the road and a beautiful woman way down this road and y'all coming together like this, she can tell that's a baiter. <laughs> she can tell in your eyes. She can tell the way you walk. She can tell the way that you're like a thousand miles away and now you're already smiling at her. <laughs> <laughs> She can tell when she walk into the grocery store, like, now nah, here you come. Can I help you with your basket? <laughs> Hi, how are you? She know that that's a beta. <laughs> she know she can make you pay for her groceries. Oh, boy. And you haven't spoken your name. <laughs> and so it's an animal nature. So yes, who am I asking the question about animal instinct? Oh, uh, Raymond, yes. Fear is the animal's nature. In God, there is no fear. Can you imagine? There's practical. You watch yourself out there. The world is bad, right? Practical. But you can live a life without fear if you die from the ego. And the light of God will destroy that. The darkness cannot handle the light. It can't even perceive the light at all. You know something? But the light can destroy the darkness. When you conquer yourself, you will conquer the world. You own the world. Amazing. Why y'all looking crazy? <laughs> All right.